Hey guys, it's Server Designer. Today I'm bringing you a pretty cool video. This is a video on Rad 2.0. This is um, one of the more recent videos of this guy. There's not many recent videos of this guy working. He's a pretty old robot. He was made in the 1900s. And uh, Jobane Videos got him for me. Uh, there's still one more thing I'm expecting from Jobane Videos either tomorrow, Saturday, or next week. So I'll turn him on. System check. He's really, really cool. But he's also really, really loud. And basically, <laughs> that's all I've been able to get him. Well, I've been able to, you know, control him. Whoops. It. Just. Like so, I'll show you the controller here. As you can see, he is really, really cool. I mean, that's just what he looks like. From the, so, with the controller, there's still not much you can really do. Now, I was really hoping he'd have an autonomous mode or something, but I mean, when you kind of think about it, he is kind of an old robot, so it would have been kind of hard to have an autonomous mode, maybe, maybe with like touch sensors, but um, he ha does, has no autonomous mode whatsoever. You control him yourself, from, sorry if my leg gets in the shot here, but as you can see, you can control him around. You can talk through him. Check, check. This is Orbiter's Honor here, coming at you through a cheap robot. I bet Kevin's jealous because I got a cheap robot. It doesn't really work that well, but it is what it is. He can fire. But he has no darts in him, so that's why he's not firing. You can, uh, well, you can open his arms or you can close them. Now I'm wondering, so now I won't talk, does this work any better? No. What the? Check, check. So now I won't talk, as you can see, but when I do it this way, yeah, the controls are really weird, so you can see on the back there's like a shift and a fire. Um, Shift is how you make him uh, talk and not talk, and you can also turn on his lights by doing that, turn off his lights by doing that, and then turn on his lights by doing that. That's kind of cool. I like that feature, how it's kind of like headlights. You can have them on or off. You can also make it so he talks or he doesn't talk. I love those little tri section, I mean those uh, triangle LEDs, they're really, really cool. Now the point of RAD 2.0 is to be able to pick up stuff and put them on that tray, but I have had no luck in trying to get him to pick up something. So I'm going to try it with you guys now, I'm going to take out his tray, I'm going to see if he can pick up this um, DS case here, hopefully though. So I have it kind of more aimed down there. Yeah, my feet are getting in the shot. That's uh, that's hot, right? All right, so waist down. Nope. I'll try again here. <laughs> Oh yeah, that works. Alright, we'll have it like that then. See if you can pick it up. Where's the controller? There it is. So we'll try him now. Nope. Looks like he's kind of meant more for uh, picking up like bottles. Hold on, I have an idea. I'm gonna do this. Bond closing. Bond closing. 
So I get rid of Oh, he picked it up! Okay. So now he has it in his arms. As you can see. Now I was hoping that this talk button on the Rad 2.0 remote was going to say, it was going to make him like have phrases on him or something, something cool, but uh, no, there's no phrases, he doesn't say any phrases, which kind of sucks, because um, he looks like a really cool robot, he looks so cool, but he just doesn't do much. He's pretty fun to control though, he's pretty fast. It's pretty fast for a tank. I love his tank controls. But... So now I'm going to turn off my lights. Here. Oh my god, that is cool. Holy crap. They sure knew how to make a cool robot back then. This guy looks cooler than a lot of the robots that I have. Jeez, I love all the LEDs on him. So, so cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.